one of my friends, uh, his name is Kidam, and he mentioned about the Starhub Play TV. And of course, uh, we will know there is this uh, existing player called Netflix. Let's start. Um, so this is a big long uh, for Planet Investing How To and uh, had the time to go and look at uh, one of the companies that's in my portfolio, Starhub, because uh, during lunch, one of my friends, uh, his name is Kidan, and he mentioned about the Starhub Play TV. And of course, uh, we would know there is this uh, player called Netflix, which perhaps right now, due to the internet platforms, you almost anyone can watch any movies. Right? Has uh, decided to invest some time uh, earlier this afternoon to look at some numbers. Um, so, I think yeah, let's start off with this example. So, the, the whole hypothesis was is pay TV weakening through the industry or only startup? Then, uh, the question is that how to get these figures it was primarily through their report. So, this is Starhub's report. And I uh, was uh, had vested interest uh, in Starhub now because uh, I'm still seeing progress in the enterprise, right, which handles the business accounts. Whether do I uh, whether am I putting in more capital? Uh, as of now, no. Okay, and the whole portfolio for Starhub right now is in uh, paper loss. Thus, uh, I'm just paying some attention to this pay TV and also the mobile, right? Because there's a decrease, right? Down here, there's also a decrease here. Plus, uh, I decided to find out if there's any new ones or perhaps uh, even if there's any uh, relationship. Definitely mentioned here by Starhub, pay TV's service revenue is lower. Okay, so I also continue to go down and because uh, in the, at the bottom of uh, their results, uh, they have this table. Okay, this is the number I'm looking at. 31st March, 487. 31st December, 458. 31st March, 449. So it continues to drop. Right, so if I look at Singtel, um, the pay television, it's increasing plus uh, I got this minus 10 and 4. So the hypothesis is that, hmm, is it already affecting Starhub? Plus, I went to see whether, I went to do a Google search whether, can, where do I subscribe Netflix in Singapore? And I came out with this. Right, so, think this is Singtel's website. Uh, they have their various channels, but I'm looking for Apple to Apple comparison with Netflix. So, uh, yes, there is a movies, and it seems like there's a tie up between Netflix and Singtel. Whereas for Starhub, you get you have suites of uh, channels for you for anyone to subscribe. Okay. And also see whether well, there are other sites that uh, where Starhub would have a tie up with Netflix. And, uh, maybe I did not go deep enough. So on the surface, there isn't anything. So it seems like the, the, the end conclusion that I'm now convincing myself is that, yep, seems like ATV, uh, the weakening of ATV in Starhub seems to be only an uh, isolated case, meaning that only Starhub is facing such a uh, such a decline. So, uh, it can, I as an investor, I'm kind of concerned, right? Um, plus, the next video could be on the mobile. In a nutshell, for the mobile, uh, it seems that uh, 
just just do a quick one, right? In the mobile, definitely so, something that uh, that I like was that if you say the overall average smartphone data usage increased to four point nine GB, up from three point nine in first quarter two o one seven. That's a that was one of the happy news that I saw, even though they are up. Though they are Apple, uh, yep. Even though the Apple fell, now uh, we have forty-five to forty-three. But definitely, what I'm uh, getting from like a market market data is that yes, smartphone data usage is growing up. Um, that's hmm. And right now, there's also those kind of uh, uh, mobile virtual operator that's riding on the incumbents network. So uh, Singapore is quite uh, actually the Singapore's market is quite quite small. So hmm, what's the conclusion that I have for startup? Yes, uh, ATD. I can't base my valuations. Uh, meaning that I can't. My valuations. I had to start being mindful of. Uh, uh, KTV, I have to take that out. Thus, the next thing is that if the mobile is also decreasing, right? Post date decreasing, decreasing, and decreasing, right? Uh, there could be a time that uh, once I see that the enterprise has and the growth for the enterprise. Segment in StarHub as a uh, bridge of the two. I could that would could be the time that I would uh, yeah have to liquidate uh, my portfolio in StarHub, regardless whether if the cash the dividend yields are high. Because currently right now, if if I'm making an assumption that the part for the last financial year. So StarHub was able to like give a dividend of sixteen cents, and the current price is of now four focus is around one seventy. That's almost like ten percent. Um, but definitely, I've made I've made this quantitative mistake before uh, with another stock. Yeah, hey, my portfolio in India, I had to I, I liquidated it, and I'm standing steadfast to what I learned previously because um, this uh, I won't want this to happen the second time. Um, hope you gain some insights into the train of thoughts that I had while uh, looking at Starhub, deciding what are the next steps to take. So yes, consensus. Once the enterprise segment is not growing, that's the next time that I'll start uh, start to uh, really review it and make a firm decision. And yes, it's time to do it. So thank you for investing your your time with me. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of uh, Hashtag Money Investing Talk Two. Uh, if you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer you. So, see you guys.